as a person with bleeding disorder, it's great to be able to share the experiences that are unique to us. Um, you know, you don't, you don't get that chance every day. And I mean, we all have this similarity that brings us together here and someone else will understand you. It showed me that there's people all over the world that have the same thing I do, that go through life, you know, the same way I do. And uh, we're all doing this thing together. So it was really cool being with uh, a group that was from all over the country. Here in the San Juans, um, a great little adventure for a few days with a bunch of other hemophiliacs. I thought, I'd, I thought it would be an easy trip, but no, all that kayaking, physical work, my arms are tired, my shoulders back, it was worth it though. So this is my first time sea kayaking. and. Uh, you know, yesterday we had a pretty long, we had a pretty long um, route um, to take. It was pretty, it was challenging, but um, we made it through. This trip, I would say, is different from my everyday life. I honestly haven't looked in a mirror in a really long time, and that's a little different. Um, living out in the backcountry of the San Juan Islands and living in a tent. It's so rewarding. One of the things that I'm looking forward to the trip is, you know, just meeting awesome people from around the country and just having experiences with them and just, you know, getting to know everyone and as well as enhancing the leadership skills that I've learned over the years and just, you know, to, to try new things and step out of that comfort zone. And regarding my bleeding disorder, the way I prepared was, you know, just taking a dose. So if anything happens, I can infuse on the kayak while I'm kayaking in the ocean. Name is Jack Acherian. I come from Chivac, Alaska. My name is Edwin Acherian Jr. So they asked me if I wanted to try come down and meet other hemophiliacs from downstates. The only people in Chivac that have hemophilia is just me and my brother Jack. So I wanted to try it out, see, meet other people. I love seal meat back home. We hunt them all the time. This is popping up left and right. And there's rules around here, so I couldn't do anything about it. All I could do was say hi. Being out here, um, you're, you're really able to look inside yourself and um, just be completely open and honest. <laughs> you can't get better than this. Um, you know, like past past four days, we've been pretty much cut off from technology, and um, it's been amazing. So, yeah. So when I lived in India, I would get um, medicine on demand um, if when I got bleeds, and sometimes take a week um, or two to get there. So treating the disease wasn't easy. Um, and once we got here, um, you know, I, I didn't know how to, or my parents didn't even know how to infuse. So we'd have to go to the emergency room every time I got a bleed. You know, NHF really helped uh, uh, make that transition smoother. One of my biggest memories of NHF was going to a retreat and learning, um, like, <clears throat> being taught how to infuse on little dummy, like uh, mannequins, and um, you know, the, the the support and community they provide is is just really amazing. I will be infusing tomorrow and I will be doing it out on the ocean. It's a new thing for me and I'm not really sure we'll be one of the first people, at least on camera, to do it. Um, so, <laughs> new world record. Folks <laughs> who weren't infusing were definitely assisting in the process. They were holding um, boats steady or they were, you know, holding the sharps container. And that was really, really powerful to see. Um, and um, really awesome for them, I think, to, to feel like, you know, I can manage this sort of in any circumstance.
Hey guys, we're infusing in the ocean right now. I know. Who's getting their big oh. float award? We all uh, rafted up together, so we brought the boats together and held on to each other while these guys uh, prepared their medicine and infused. And it was really neat to see them and the excitement in their eyes and the opportunity that they had to do this thing together as, as brothers. It was a little emotional and um, just really awesome. Yeah. I, I think about my future with hemophilia, especially because I'm a carrier, and I've had a lot of thoughts about not having kids. Seeing the guys out here coping with their hemophilia is, is definitely eye-opening and makes it not as scary. The biggest thing is, um, you know, you, you can't be ashamed or afraid of seeking help. Once you get over that, it just, it's just so freeing. Um, like, I, I truly believe I can do anything I want to with, with self-care and with the help of the people around me. Um, as long as you trust the people around you, like, there's no limitations um, if you're willing to accept their help. Programs like these have really pushed us to do something for the community as well. I feel like I'll have a lot of changes in the way that I'm thinking about my future. Um, makes me want to be even closer with my brother that has hemophilia because we have this connection, um, able to relate with him better because I understand, I'm learning to understand how hemophiliacs are coping with it today.